Hey everybody, Corey here from WebSpawn Ideas. Last week, week and a half, I've made it out to some great local restaurants that I enjoy visiting when I can. And I want to tell you what I tried. It was all really good stuff, all easy to find, and um, all locally owned restaurants. I take that back. Two out of the three were. Okay, we'll start off with uh, Ellendale's. Great place out there by the airport in the Donaldson area. Uh, it's at, on Elm Hill Pike, old Elm Hill Pike. You know, I had the Mandarin spinach salad. That is a vegetarian dish. You can add steak and different things on there if you wanted to, but I had just the salad. And that's got baby spinach, egg slices, red onion, pecans, and oranges on there. With the dressing, it was really, really good, refreshing, and just a nice change of pace from... Um, you know, a lot of things you get when you go out to eat, at least for me anyway. I, I you know, I, I eat a lot of meats and things like that. So uh, to get out of the, the meat and vegetables or the or the typical things you find in a lot of restaurants, it's that was a nice change of pace. So I highly recommend stopping by Ellendale's and check them out. The second place was Bonefish Grill. This is the only place that was not locally owned. Uh, it was when we were at a horse show down in Murfreesboro. And uh, it was the Bonefish Grill where I had the Imperial Long Fin. That was $18 for that dish. It was fantastic, I have to tell you. Um, it's tilapia that's pan seared and baked and stuffed with shrimp, scallops, and crab meat. And I'm going to tell you, we had a nice Chardonnay, I think it was, and it was perfection. It was just, it really hit the spot paired well with the wine and everything and it really was delicious. Um, then the last thing was this past Thursday night. Uh, we went to the Standard for the the Jazz Cafe. So uh, Annie Selleck was there, she was singing. And uh, then Chef Joe had uh, two wines, a red and a white, paired with um, a couple of, of uh, dishes. Well, the white wine which was a Chardonnay. I'm sorry, I forget what the wines were. Um, but that was a great pairing with the um, a sashimi grouper that had um, some citrus and ginger um, flavors and it had been worked all in there. And My goodness, it was outstanding. Very thin slices. Um, you know, there wasn't a whole lot there and maybe that's a good thing because what it did is it just that great taste it was just enough that it left you wanting more so um, if Chef Joe did that for that purpose it worked but uh, then the second thing that was paired with the red wine was a buffalo chili which was fantastic again a small serving and that was uh, just the meat and everything no beans in that chili because as we all know Chef Joe is a purist so uh, that being said, enjoy these great restaurants, uh, good food, good times, good wine. You know, the most expensive thing was the Jazz, jazz Cafe at the Standard, and that was $20 for the two wines and the two uh, small dishes that was, it was paired with. So uh, this is Corey Webb. Until next time, have a great day and eat well.